with all due respect, white people. Uh, hi. How are y'all? Y'all have been gone and quiet for so long. And now all of a sudden, all y'all know everything about Palestine. Where have y'all been for the past, mm, I don't know, uh, 10 months when more than 250 Palestinians were being killed by Israel? I didn't hear anything from y'all. I didn't see, hear nothing from y'all. Last year alone, when hundreds of Palestinians were being killed by Israel, unprovoked, which I know is important to y'all, unprovoked. Palestinians didn't do anything. Where were y'all? Gone. Silent. Nothing to say. Why? Because it's too political. You didn't want to get into politics. It's complicated. When Palestinians are the victims, when we're in defense, and Israel is on offense, slaughtering hundreds of Palestinians at a time, y'all have nothing to say because it's political. But as soon as the tables are turned and Palestinians are on offense and the fellow white people are on defense, now all y'all got PhDs in Palestinian Middle Eastern studies. Now, all of a sudden, all y'all are seasoned senior critics of Palestine. When Palestinians are peacefully protesting against the occupier at the border in Gaza, and Israel decides to shoot at the peaceful protesters, shoot the ambulance, shoot the journalists, kill Palestinians, y'all have nothing to say. But somehow now, y'all carry the moral compass as to who is right and who is wrong. Why? Because white people are the victims now. When brown people are the victims, y'all have nothing to say. As soon as your fellow people get targeted, the world flips upside down. Now y'all are capable of coming together and standing strong in unison, in harmony, to stand for Israel. When brown people are on defense, it's political. When white people are on defense, it's a humanitarian issue. It's terrorism, it's extremism. And you have to, as a human being, stand for Israel. Even people I know personally, whether from work or from school or from people that I just follow on social media who are white, who have literally never said a word about Palestine when our people are being killed. Now, all of a sudden, their Instagram story just swipe after swipe, anti-Palestinian propaganda. Standing with Israel, or even worse, we just need peace. We need everyone to just hold hands and love each other. Shut up! Don't even get me started on corporations who have never spoken a word, a whiff, about Palestine, but now all their profile pictures, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, got the Israeli flag standing strong. Now we have the Empire State and the Sydney Opera House lighting in white and blue in honor of Israel. What? That, oh, God knows they would never light up these structures with the Palestinian flag. Hell no. All of a sudden, Palestinians who have been screaming at the top of our lungs about what Israel is doing to us, somehow we don't know what's right or wrong now. We don't know what should be done. Y'all now have the expertise to say Palestinians have the right to resist, but not in this way. Oh. Oh, pl please, do tell. Please explain, I'd love to hear. Now, putting all cynicism to the side, this is not to say that all white people are like this. No, there are a lot of white folk out there who are hella pro Palestine, who have been talking and, and walking the walk since day one. And we love y'all, we appreciate it. But the vast majority, as a Palestinian who was born and raised in the States and knows how white people operate and how white people think, no. Those of y'all who have been silent up till now, y'all do not have the right to speak on what's happening in Palestine right now. You do not have the right to judge what, when, where, why Palestinians do what we do. And we are more than aware that Zionism, the foundation of the settler colonial project known as Israel, is a branch of white supremacy. And that is why you guys support Israel and not Palestine. If you are a white person watching this video, you've gotten this far and I'm describing you as the white person who hasn't said anything up until now. Ask yourself, why did you not say anything about the hundreds of Palestinians who were killed last year? Why? Why didn't y'all say anything? Use that moral compass that you carry so heavily and ask yourself, why did you not speak up about Palestinians when we were being killed? Just a question to think about. Let it marinate. Y'all have proven time and time again that y'all only care about other white people. 
other white groups and y'all are willing to let brown people die because of your bias. And the irony is that we've been saying that this is how y'all are for years now on social media, that you guys only talk about it when Israel is the victim. You are literally proving our point. You are proving that white supremacy is alive and well. And this isn't to say that there aren't other groups who do the same, but I'm speaking on this and bringing this up and addressing y'all right now because I live in the States where y'all are the majority. And I know how y'all think, I know how y'all operate. So I'm gonna call y'all out when your hypocrisy is gleaming. I usually try to end my videos on a universal optimistic note, but that's not happening with this video. This is an angry frustration rant video. And I'm tired of seeing my people suffer when others are uplifted and in fact rewarded for defending itself. La ilaha illallah wa hasbi Allahu ni'mal wakil.